and welcome to Smoke Training. In this inaugural episode, we'll take a look at the installation of the new Smoke 2013 pre-release software. The points we'll be covering is where to locate the software on the Autodesk website, downloading and running the installation process, and placing Smoke in the dock for easy future access. Right, to download the software, head over to www.autodesk.com forward slash smoke dash trial. From here, you'll be asked to fill in your personal details. Once you've entered all your info, click the download now button at the bottom of the page. You'll need to install some additional software to optimize the speed of the download due to its size. If you now head to where you downloaded this and run the installer once it is finished downloading. Click through the installer, confirming to the license agreement and then finally clicking install to complete the process. You will now be asked where you would like the Smoke software downloaded to on your Mac. The time taken to download the software will depend greatly on your internet connection as it is over one gigabyte in size. When it has completed, launch the downloaded file to see the install smoke screen. Double click the icon to start the smoke install process. The first screen reminds us of the very helpful tutorials over at the smoke learning channel. Click continue. The most important part here is to make sure the tick box next to smoke application is selected. On clicking continue, you'll be asked to enter your administration password. At this stage, you're asked to select a media storage device. This is where all your transcoded media and render files are stored. Make sure to choose a fast external drive for optimal performance. Once the installer has finished, close down any open windows. The installer does not create a shortcut in the dock, so head over to the Applications folder in the Finder. You'll find an Autodesk folder, open the Smoke 2013 pre-release subfolder and drag the Smoke pre-release application icon onto the dock to make it easier to access in the future. Thank you for watching Smoke Training and stay tuned for future tutorial updates. Some key points to remember from this episode. This is currently pre-release software, so do not use it on your production machine. Create a new user for the installation of Smoke to minimize any problems should they occur and use a fast external drive when choosing Smoke's media location and place a shortcut in the dock for easy access and feedback is crucial in shaping the future of the software, so head to the Autodesk Smoke Forum.